The sun is shining, the snow is melting, the bunnies are playing, and you know what that means. Spring is sprung. Okay, here we do the new infrared panel review. I have tried this so many times. Now I hope to concisely get this little part through. I'm on my knees, I'm on concrete. What could go wrong? Maybe you've heard about infrared heating. We have an infrared sauna. It's right behind the camera. That was my introduction to the technology. Over the last couple years, we've electrified the house, solar, batteries, heat pumps. The lowest we have got our annual electric bill last year was $16 really not that comfortable. <laughs> but that being said, it was colder than we would have liked. Using heat pumps, we could have raised the temperature however much we wanted, but you get to realize like how much energy it takes to heat. This year we've entered a new phase where we're trying to maximize heat through the heating season, but lower cost using battery arbitrage and these bad boys, it's infrared panels. If you're here for the short version of it, let's get ahead. This is a resistant heater. It uses a coil of hot wire. It gets red hot, 1500 watts of power. They're loud, they're fire risks. A lot of people think of them as trashy. I like this one because it's yellow, as you can see. But there's something to be said for heating a small space instead of heating your whole house. To heat a giant volume of air will use a lot of energy even if it's efficient. So we looked towards less efficient, but more localized, decentralized. This is a 600 watt panel, 1500, 600. Arguably more efficient, but not because of how it produces heat, rather how it delivers heat. This doesn't use the air as a medium to blow heat onto your skin. It travels through space emitting waves of heat. If this were an infrared camera, or if you had predator vision, I would glow. And that would be me emitting infrared. It's on the opposite side of the light spectrum as UV, which causes cancer. So I hope that it doesn't cause that much cancer. And I think that generally, uh, scientists wouldn't worry about it. We got two more of these. We got a 250 watt one and a 400 watt one. All three of them running at the same time would use 1250 watts. 250 less than this. Would they put out more heat? No. Would they deliver more of that heat to where you wanted them? Yes. With this heater, your feet might get hot, but so will the ceiling of the room. With an infrared panel, that heat comes right to your whole body in a very gentle, and this is the description you'll always hear. Feels like the sun. It does. It feels like the sun. It's fantastic. For a cost of about $100 per panel, who are these for? Well, we're gonna get to some stats here in a minute about our usage data, but I'll say really quick, if you have an odd room that needs heating silently and safely, if the room is kind of small and a 1500 watt space heater might heat it in 15 minutes, but then you want to unplug it and then it gets hot and uh, this, it's gentle and continuous. It's fantastic. Put it in your garage for a dog, put it in a room for a baby. Uh, we use it for our plants and next to our desk. But if you are looking at electrifying your heat, you might have a central air conditioner gas furnace. That air conditioner is electric, but the furnace uses gas to heat in the winter. You could put one of these in every one of your rooms and now you could be totally electric without having to replace that air mover, without having to replace that condenser outside. For hundreds of dollars, instead of 20,000, you know what I mean? <laughs> so look into these. They're not magically efficient, but they're brilliantly comfortable and uh, elegantly deployable. We built this stand for these out of dowels from Home Depot so that it can be taken apart, put in a drawer, or um, moved around. The other ones could be mounted to the ceiling, could be mounted to the wall. And there are some that come in the form of a mirror for your bathroom or your entryway. And you can even get 800 watt ones at least, I know, with artwork printed on the front of them. These are paintable, so they can really blend in with your wall. And I think the main argument is just that you can choose your size. 
as opposed to 1500 watts continuous, you can pick what suits you and it won't make noise. You can touch it while it runs. Last year, our thermostats were set to 65 and we might use this in a room. This year we changed all of our thermostats up to 67 and ran these a lot. The desk side ones most days, most of the day through the heating season. This one, I had it on a timer to kick on 20 hours a day as long as it was not peak time. So let's go look at those charts and talk about some of that data and get off this basement floor. At my desk, and I just want to point out really quick, this is a 250 watt panel. This is how closely it's mounted. This is a 10 foot by 10 foot room, basically small office. And this works great for here. You can see I'm on this chart. What does this chart mean? You might recognize it from past videos. Um, this is like all of our energy over the last four years, consolidated and visualized. This isn't actually my favorite version though. These are four years. The, the peaks up here, they are the winters where our energy demand is the highest here in Northern Colorado. Uh, this is a house heated by gas. This is one where we switched to the heat pump right here. This is where we put in solar. You can see it's negative, the solar is. This is that first solar year. It goes negative net energy in the summer and we use a bit in the winter. This is the battery arbitrage year that we are currently in where we've used infrared panels and we've raised the temperature by two degrees inside. This is a max comfort, reckless use of energy year with renewables. And you can see guys like, Come on, this visually, this speaks, this, this is crazy. I hope that we can shrink this drastically over the next couple of years. Those will be future experiments. Now, another crazy chart. This is the cost of our electricity each month. Same thing, it's over four years. Not that much cost when we were heating with gas. Heating with electric, the cost went way up. We got solar, the winter cost went way down, but the uh, summer cost went negative. And then this next year, it's a much steeper future videos are gonna happen over here on this chart, you know what I mean? The I column is what we spend for electricity each month. The C column is how much electricity we use each month. Add up the kind of infrared panels that you're interested in and their wattage, and you can very accurately get a summary of how much you run it, how much it will cost based on your local utilities, which will not be reflected in our cost, but I think you might find this interesting, you know, nonetheless. So let's go over the last three heating seasons from April to September, eight months this year cost $339, $42 a month. That was for 12,500 kilowatt hours total, 1,500 kilowatt hours a month on average. Let's see last year, 1,200. 300 kilowatt hours a month more we've spent this year, but it's not so simple. That cost us last year $373 or $46 a month. So with battery arbitrage, that 46.7 went down to 42.4 per month, even though on average we used 300 kilowatt hours more per month. If you wanna run the same system, assume it will run that much more per month, you know, 300 kilowatt hours, and do your math, it's April through September of the year prior. $1,391 or $173 per month, but the energy that we used was about the same as this year. 12,763, just under 1,600 kilowatt hours a month. Obviously the price per unit for us does not reflect normal the other big major factor here um, that I need to include is the temperature. That first year, average temperature, including the night, was 40.25 degrees. Last winter, 42.5, so two degrees warmer. And then this year, it was again, just under 40 degrees. So this year was more similar to two years ago, but the cost has been even lower than uh, that last year, which was warmer and included solar. And, and you can take it for what you want. You know, you can pause and you can read and, but uh, it is fascinating, right? These are an unsung hero that deserve more praise. Thank you, come again next time.